Are you looking for a way to eliminate supply chain inefficiencies? I have a solution for you with supply chain apps. They are number one office analytics add-ins, fully integrated in Excel, so it is a perfect match for every supply chain planner. Our apps can help you transform Excel data into intelligent and interactive maps that can give you powerful insights and visualize your supply chain end-to-end. -end. We have many apps in our portfolio, but all of them are divided into five categories – supply chain visualization, network design optimization, transport optimization, predictive analytics, and warehouse analytics apps. What is very important to know is that all our apps have the same general workflow, which I'm going to show you here today. I'm going to use the Center of Gravity app as an example. In this app, we're finding the potential location of distribution centers based on customers' data. So, let's start! If you enter in any of the apps from our portfolio, you will have the same interface. For each app, the general workflow is consisted of these four steps. Input data, calculation, output data, and visualization. You can use two types of data, addresses and coordinates, and the approach behind is the same, which means four steps will remain the same. So what is the difference between choosing addresses or coordinates? The difference is in the backend. If you are working with addresses, we are first translating addresses to coordinates and then making a calculation for a particular app. And if you are using the latitude-longitude approach, we are skipping this translation step since you already have coordinates, so we are just making a calculation of particular app. This is why calculation will be faster and you can work with more data. For example, in center of gravity, if you are working with addresses, you can work with 10,000 addresses. And if you choose coordinates, you can work with 10 times more data, that is, 100,000 coordinates. The first part is to provide some data based on which we are going to make a calculation. For all of the apps, we have prepared sample data where you can see which data are required and you can access them by clicking on Generate Template. As you can see, in center of gravity, we need name, country, state, zip, city, street and weight. You can either add your data into our existing table or you can connect your own table. When you are using the Generate template, the table is already connected, but if you are using your own table, you first need to connect. You can do that by marking the whole table, including the header as well, and clicking on this link icon. Once the table is connected, you will get notification if there are any errors. Some of the columns are mandatory, some of them are recommended, while the other ones are optional. The red columns are mandatory, which means you must have them in order to proceed to the calculation part. Yellow columns are recommended if you want to have more precise results, while the green columns are optional, which means if you delete some of them, you can still get your results. You will find this info icon where you can remind yourself which columns are mandatory, recommended and optional, and you can also see the description regarding the data you need to provide for each column. These green check marks besides the names of the columns represent the columns that are included in your table and which will be used later on for the calculation. Now you can see that all columns are included. But let's see what will happen if we delete some of the optional ones. We just deleted street column and no error has been found. If we enter again in info icon, you will see that the green check mark is no longer besides the street column which is in this case fine, because this is an optional column. I will now just show you what will happen if I misspell some mandatory column. If we add X in the weight column, the link will be broken and you cannot continue to the next part. You need to correct this mistake and then the link will become green again. You can also add some additional column if you want, and if you would like to have additional information for yourself, but that won't affect your calculation. If you are working with large data sets, it can be useful to know that we have fly-to-error concept. Let's see what this means in practical example. If you input letter instead of number in this weight column, 
the link will be broken and the error will be reported. But if you are on the top of your table, you don't need to search for the error by scrolling down. Just click on this lightning icon and you will be led directly to the error so you can correct it immediately. Now, when all the data is in the right place, you can proceed to the next part. The next step is calculation. Here we always need to set some parameters. In case of center of gravity, we just need to decide how many centers do we want to find and in which unit we are going to measure the distance. Calculate results in just a few seconds. Our recommendation when you are working with large data sets is to use latitude-longitude approach because the calculation will be even faster. In this third part, you get your results in Excel. As a result, in the case of center of gravity, we got two tables, assigned addresses and centers. You can choose whether to export them all at once or to customize them and export separately. Let's see both options. First, I will export all to the new sheet. In the first assigned addresses table, you got the coordinates for the customers, name of the center, coordinates for the center and the distance between centers and customers. In the second table, you got some KPIs of the centers and the last table is always parameters table, which is related to the calculation part. If you click on these three dots beside the name of the table, you can decide which columns you want to export. You can exclude from the results the columns you already provided in the input data part, and you can, for example, choose to export just latitude, longitude, and center name. Now you can see where to export new results. Then click on this downloading icon, and your results are ready. After receiving the results in Excel, you can now go to the next part to transfer your Excel data into powerful visualization insights. As a fourth part, you will have two types of visualization. One is on the map and the other one is on the dashboard. Let's see first the visualization on a map. By clicking on Open in My Maps platform, you will get your results. The map is completely customizable. You can play here by changing, for example, colors, size and transparency of the dots, or you can also change the style of a map. If you want to find out details of how to create, style, save and share your data-driven maps, just click on the link in the description of this video. The other type of visualization is on a dashboard. Click on Open Dashboard. Here you will get the graphs of some KPIs that we thought can be useful for you. In the case of center of gravity, we have some pie charts, average median charts, box plots, 3D clusters, but in some other apps there are also some key diagrams and GAN charts. Comparing to the maps, dashboards are not customizable, but they are interactive. So just by scrolling with your mouse, you can see what are the numbers behind. Each graph can be saved also individually as a picture by clicking on this photo icon, so you can later use it in a presentation or send it to a colleague. What are the most important benefits today? First of all, you get intuitive, user-friendly workflow for all the apps. The second, you have amazing opportunity to start using our supply chain apps within five minutes. The third, you get sophisticated analytical tool directly in Excel. And the fourth, you have best-in-class visualization through shareable maps. I really hope you liked this video today and that you found it very useful. If you want now to start using some of our apps, I suggest you begin with our geocoding app so you can watch this great tutorial how to translate addresses into coordinates and vice versa. And now, what is the next thing you need to do so you can keep in touch with all our tutorials that we are preparing for you? Of course, to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them in the comments below this video, because we are here anytime to answer on all of them.